Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on combining two free parts ratios to form one. Let's read the question. The ratio of A to B to C is 1 to 8 to 6 and the ratio of C to D to E is 4 to 5 to 7. Find the ratio B to D in its simplest form. Now if you understood how we combine two ratios into one where there are just two parts, this won't be too much more difficult. We do exactly the same method as we did before. So the ratio of A to B to C is 1 to 8 to 6. We can put it in sort of like a table like this. And then we've got the ratio of C to D to E. So C to D to E is 4 to 5 to 7. Let's put that on a new line. So 4 to 5 to 7. So I've arranged these two ratios in a way that we have consistent columns for the same uh, variable that we're representing, A, B, C, D, E, E. And remember, the way to combine it into a single ratio is that we need these two parts here, the C's, to be consistent with each other. And we scale ratios by just timesing by the same number in each part. So 6 and 4, we need to work out first what they both go into. Well, 6 and 4 both go into 12. So we need to get both of these to 12. Now, to get the 6 to 12, we're going to have to times it by 2. And whatever we do to this part of the ratio, we have to do the same to this part of the ratio and the same to this part of the ratio, times them all by 2. To get the 4 to 12, we have to times it by 3. So we times that by 3, that by 3, that by 3 for consistency. So if we do that, 1 times 2 is 2. 8 times 2 is 16. 6 times 2 is 12. And 4 times 3 is also 12, so that's consistent. 5 times 3 is 15. 7 times 3 is 21. So we now know that the combined ratio A to B to C to D to E is 2 to 16 to 12 to 15 to 21. And we want to find the ratio of B to D. B is this one. The D is this number here. So the ratio of B to D is 16 to 15. Can we simplify that any further? Well, there's no factor uh, that goes into 16 and 15 other than 1, so there's nothing we can divide these both by, so this is the final answer.